So this is Asha, and she is a what's called a double Merle Australian Shepherd. So she was born deaf and blind, and um, she also has epilepsy and has some pretty severe anxiety. And she's six years old. We've had her for five and a half years since she was just a puppy. So we've raised her and dealt with all of her issues. Um, one of the things that has been very consistent about her for her entire life is that she loves people. She's very social. Um, her anxiety really is um, under control when she's in public and around people. So she has uh, pretty severe anxiety and she takes anxiety medication and um, over the years has seen an acupuncturist and Chinese medicine practitioner. She has a whole team of people who help her. And one of the things that has always been consistent is that she loves people. She's very, very social and it's very calming for her to be around really anyone, strangers, people she knows, um, anyone. So several years ago someone had suggested that we look into becoming a therapy dog team. And the time was never right, um, and then she got really sick and was in the intensive care unit for about five days, and we weren't quite sure that she was going to survive. And I stayed with her during that time because her anxiety doesn't allow her to be alone or be in a kennel. And during that time, I decided, you know, I had lots of time to think about what her life had meant and uh, what things we wanted out of her life in the future. And one of the things I promised myself laying on the floor of the intensive care at the vet was that if she survived, we would pursue being a therapy dog. So she was on medication for about a year and a half, and when she took her last pill, I looked for a therapy dog program. Um, we found Pet Partners, which is the program that um, does the training and certification. Her closest certification class was at Altman Hospital in Canton, so I signed us up for it. Um, it's a, a one-day class for the handler, and then we have to pass an evaluation as a team. And Asha did not pass the first time, uh, so we waited about six months and were able to retest, and second time through, she passed with flying colors. Uh, many seeing and hearing dogs don't pass the test, so the fact that she didn't make it through the first time, she only missed one thing, um, was really not that big a deal. So uh, that was about a year and a half ago, and we've been volunteering here at Altman ever since.